This video will demonstrate how to place a point in ArcGIS Online for your autobiographical map project. So right now I've got my contents up over here. The only thing that I have on here is my base map, which is the topographic map. If I wanted to change my base map, I'd go up here to the base map gallery, click on it, and choose something different. For right now, I'm going to leave this uh, uh, with the topo base map. So what I want to do is I want to place a point that was pretty important to me last year. Um, I went on a, a drive along the Pacific Coast Highway with my best friend, and it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. So I'm going to search for a place called Moonstone Beach. And I'm going to click on the first hit I get. And so you can see that the little search result bubble pops up. I'm going to click um, and the close button on that just so uh, it's not in the way as I'm placing my point. And at this point, what you may decide is you may decide that you want to zoom in as you place your point to get more detail. For example, if I change this to the imagery base map, I might decide that I want a little more detail. So I'll zoom in a bit before I place my point. Um, it's just up to you in terms of how much uh, detail you want showing in your map and um, what the importance is to you in telling your autobiography. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my point. So I'm going to click Add. And I'm going to go to the bottom where it says Add Map Notes. This is going to allow you to annotate your map with points, lines, areas, and text. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And this is going to create a layer of map notes, which are going to be my autobiographical map. And so I'm going to go ahead and click Create. And the Add Features uh, sidebar pops up. You can see that you have the option to do points, text, lines, and areas and the written uh, tutorial goes over how to add lines and areas a little bit more in depth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this green push pin here and I'm going to drop it right here in the middle of the sand. And so this is my edit bubble here. For my title I'm going to write Moonstone Beach and for the description I'm going to write first stop along the Pacific Coast Highway in summer 2015, and you probably will have um, something a little bit more in depth to write about why it's important to you at this point. So uh, in terms of the images, I'm going to leave these blank for right now because a separate video is going to deal with how you upload your images um, into ArcGIS Online, and I'm going to click Close. Now. When, um, right now, when I click on my point, it's going to take me back to my edit bubble. But if I wanted to see what this is going to look like to somebody who's visiting my map for the first time, I'm going to click on this edit button right here. And when I click on my point again, it's now in view mode. This is exactly what somebody is going to see when they pop on my, when they click on my bubble. So this gives you an opportunity to kind of look at it and say, yeah, you know what, this is exactly what I want. Or, in my case, I'm looking at this green pushpin and I'm saying, wow, this really blends in a lot with my imagery. I want something that stands out a little bit more. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my bubble again. I can either get back to the edit mode here or by clicking edit up here. So I'm going to click into the bubble. My point information comes up and I'm going to go to change symbol. And this is going to give you a lot of different um, options. So I was playing around with the outdoor recreation ones a little bit earlier. Um, you can see that with shapes it's just going to give you some basics. Um, the basic ones are going to give you the stick pins and the push pins that you see on the sideline. Uh, numbers, if you, want, uh, if you want it to go in chronological order, you can use the little number sticks to help you out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my outdoor recreation and I'm going to use these little sand toys, these beach toys here as my symbol. And I'm going to leave the symbol size at 32 pixels for right now. Um, you may choose to go back and edit your points so that they're a little bigger, a little smaller, depending on what the view is for your, uh, your reader. So click OK, click Close, and I'm going to look at it again. I'm out of edit mode. You can see that your autobiographical map notes are right here as a layer. And I'm just going to click on my point. And you can see my information about Moonstone Beach pops up. And that's how you add a point in ArcGIS Online.